The Clippers had a lot of behind the scenes drama that could be the reason they struggled with chemistry. Let's dig into the details. What's up, you guys? It's Devin Howard. If you're not following me on Instagram, you can find me there as at Devin Howard. Double check that you've subscribed to the Fumble, tap the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. We've heard rumors here and there about Clippers players feeling frustrated with the team's two superstars, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Kawhi lives in San Diego, and according to inside sources, that would cause him often to be late to practices and flights. But it also seems that his co-star, Paul George, requested that same kind of preferential treatment, only he didn't get the same respect from his teammates that they gave Kawhi. More on that in just a second. But let's first talk about this preferential treatment. The Athletics said that the team gave perks to Kawhi and Paul that weren't available to everyone else. It ultimately ended up compromising the, quote, standard of the culture they had built over the 2017-18 and 2018-19 seasons. Now, let's talk about some of the perks that the guys had that their teammates didn't. For one, they had their own personal security guards and trainers, they had power over the team's practice and travel schedule, media time for them had to occur at least 45 minutes after games concluded, and they were able to pick and choose when they played in games. That's a lot of freedom for two guys to have when they're supposed to be players on a team. That being said, superstars do usually get treated differently than the rest of the team. They usually are afforded more liberties and a little more freedom. But did the Clippers go overboard with the perks for Kawhi and Paul? Now let's elaborate on that respect a bit. According to The Athletic, a question that dampened Paul George's credibility in the league was this lingering thought of, what have you accomplished in the playoffs? Well, he's obviously a veteran in the league and he's experienced a ton of success, but compared to Kawhi, who has already snagged a couple championship rings and finals MVP honors, Paul George just doesn't really seem to measure up. On top of that, we heard rumors about different arguments that he had with his teammates in the locker room. There was that heated exchange with Lou Will, the tense encounter with Montrez Harrell. There seemed to be a lot brewing behind the scenes. As we all know, he had a rough time in Game 7 against the Nuggets, putting up only 10 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal and a block in 38 minutes of playing time. He did cite mental health issues for his poor performance, and I really do feel that that explains a lot. The bubble was really hard on these athletes. Some handled it better than others, and I think Paul George was just unable to really overcome the challenges that he faced there. But this idea that he's not producing enough for the team is a recurring theme. It wasn't just that one game that caused the Clippers to question his desire to win. So what do you guys think? Is Paul George falling flat? Did he and Kawhi have too many perks? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell. I'm Devin Howard for The Fumble and I'll see you later.